Hey, what's up, Dirt Tracks Nation? We're here at Mid-America Outdoors in Jay, Oklahoma, one of North America's premier off-road parks, and we're here with American Honda to check out the brand new Honda Talon 1000R four-seater with Fox Live Valve. While 2022 saw a healthy list of improvements to most of the town lineup, which most notably centered around the addition of Fox Live Valve, Honda had decided to hold off on updating the four-passenger R model until 2023. Now normally ride events were just limited to daytime, but Honda wanted to change things up and bring everyone out on a night ride. This is also a perfect opportunity to check out some of the accessories they outfitted, including the auxiliary lighting, which was a huge advantage when navigating some of the more technical trails. When it came to the night ride, there was no shortage of gnarly terrain, and the electronically adapted suspension proved its worth, keeping the town stable and on center, as the Fox Live Out shocks were constantly adjusting and soaking up all the harsh impacts. That was fun, and it was actually really impressive that trail was nothing more than two inch crushed rock the entire way so it's all loose traction is at a premium the whole time especially when you're going up some of the steep hill climbs and we were going up and it was starting to slip threw it into my four wheel drive there wasn't even a hesitation as soon as the wheels were slipping it would slow down the rotation of the wheels enough to get traction again and then pick up and, and, and pull up the uh, the hill overall though the ride of handling really, really comfortable. It was great to sort of get back in the Talon. They've definitely made some really uh, impressive improvements. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a good day. The drive event for the Ford Passenger R model brought a collection of riders representing North American off-road media, along with today's most popular dirt influencers, to experience everything the new Talon 1000R4 had to offer. Threw it in drive for it, and it was just like, they like seeing this. It crawls right up. It was our first time to Mid-America Outdoors, and man, was this place cool. Picture a world-class, all-inclusive resort that caters to off-road enthusiasts. Park your RV or rent a cabin. There is every amenity imaginable, including a pool with Lazy River, an epic short course racetrack, along with five interconnected trail systems that had plenty of steep technical climbs. All right, day two, Honda Talon 1000R4 uh, evaluation. We're uh, heading out for a uh, day-long uh, trail ride today. It's gonna be a good day for testing out the Talon. We'll be able to test out some of the new features. It's gonna be a good day. Aside from the addition of the 2.5 inch diameter of Fox live valve shocks, Honda also made big improvements to the responsive handling and reduced turning radius of the Talon R4, with updates to the electronic power steering unit, which provides 87% more torque assist. The other noticeable updates to handling were the new return to center function for steering, and we took full advantage of the ability to now run four low in sport mode. So a couple of nice uh, features about the Honda Talon, uh, especially when you're sort of on a steep hillside. We're not super, super steep right now, but still, I mean, uh, high gear and all that stuff. If I were to sort of let off the brake and try to go forward, I'm obviously gonna start rolling back. So cool feature that they have here is your hill assist. Simply uh, push that in. You get a notification here that you're now locked. My foot's now off the brake entirely and we're not rolling at all. So it's great on those moments where you know, it's just a little bit uh, sketchy and you want to be able to have uh, full confidence that you're going to be able to go forward. Ask anyone and they'll tell you, quality and durability have always been synonymous with Honda. In keeping with this, the engineering team focused on some key areas of improvement to ensure owners can take on the toughest trails. New for the 23 model are helical spline axles in combination with upsized axle nuts for better torque retention. The R4 also gets revised front A-arm suspension geometry with reinforced gusseting, and the wall thickness of the ROPS has been increased for improved strength and chassis rigidity. There was no shortage of water crossings during our ride, and the new full doors with integrated storage compartments did a great job keeping the elements out and keeping us dry 
and launch mode, well, what can I say? How can you not love it? Just got back from what amounted to be about a 20 mile uh, ride. The Honda Talon 1000R4 comes 68 inches wide, um, Fox Live valve. It is, as Honda says, it is sort of still geared towards sort of that family fun vehicle. You can definitely get aggressive with it, but at the same time, it's not too wild for the trail system. And I think that's what I appreciated most about the vehicle today. The other thing that was um, still super, super impressive, and everyone here that was riding it today keeps on remarking about it, is I four-wheel drive. Any Anytime the vehicle sort of losing traction, getting a little out of control, it would automatically just rebalance that power to the wheels automatically for you and just maintain traction. The other thing we got to talk about is we've got to talk about Fox Live Out. So these are 2.5 inch diameter shocks on it. They got two modes, they got normal and they got sport. Normal took all of the harshness out throughout sort of that mid stroke and uh, just kept it really, really comfortable. We did sort of go into sport mode just to sort of try it. And you do notice a significant increase in terms of raising that damping curve. That suspension wouldn't compress as quickly. So it essentially just helped maintain your ground clearance a little bit better. You didn't fall into your travel as much. Ride impressions with regards to suspension, Really, really good. A distinguishing characteristic of the Talon is its dual clutch transmission. While I definitely appreciate the advantages of a gear and gear transmission, and I do like the fun factor associated with paddle shifters in a manual mode, it is something you have to get used to when compared to a conventional CVT. It's also nowhere near as adjustable. That being said, imagine a phone app that connects to the ECU, which allows you to further adjust the power profile and shift point, similar to the effect of changing the weights on a CVT clutch. Honda, if you're listening, that would be really cool. The crew at Honda saved the coolest experience to last, as they knew it was gonna be hard to keep us from that short course racetrack. Race code USA driver Dave Mason Jr., who competes in the Champ Off-Road Series, shared the driving duties and did some hot laps with the stock Talon R. Didn't matter how fast or how hard he pushed it in the corner, the Talon with Fox Live Out shock set the sport and felt like it was on rails. Honda's success on racing is backed up with his Pro UTV and Baja 1000 championships. The Desert Racing Talon is built on the four passenger chassis with long travel suspension and its naturally aspirated 1000cc mill maximizes its horsepower potential with the help from a custom Trinity X-Pipe exhaust and a special tune of the ECU. Getting the opportunity to ride shotgun in their factory off-road racing buggy was intense. 17-year-old Ethan Ebert kept it wide open throttle the entire time. What better way is it to finish off our stay here at Mid-America Outdoors with our, with our friends from American Honda than to sort of be able to go down to the short course and check out how the Honda Talon performs. The underlying most impressive feature with this Honda Talon is even though I know Honda markets as, a, as the ultimate sort of like family wreck vehicle, it's the proven technology that goes into that motor. Not only is it for the short course racer, but also for their best in desert racer, that motor is completely stock. The only thing that they're doing to it is maybe messing with the ECU a little bit just to sort of amp it up a bit. But other than that, it's just a bone stock motor and, and transmission. And that says a lot about the technology and the reliability that goes into Honda. Definitely come away really impressed with the Honda. It's great that they sort of were able to sort of expose us to all those different elements and uh, hats off to them. And it's definitely something you guys need to check out. Hey, if you want to learn more about the Talon 1000R4 with Fox Live Valve, you need to check out our YouTube channel with our exclusive interview with Maria Rowland, Talon Project Manager. That, and that, that same stuff is